Well, kids who were coached by DJ Hayden are remembering the former football player today after that tragic fatal crash over the weekend that left Hayden and five others dead. Fox 26's Domily Keith joining us live at Second Baptist School where Hayden was a coach. Domily. Yeah, the Second Baptist School football team is having their first practice without their defensive back coach DJ Hayden and his absence is obvious. You know, it was a tough day. Um, we just talked to him and told him that, you know, when, in, when anything like this happens, there's going to be first for everything. So we're going to have to have our first practice, our first game. Here at Second Baptist School, DJ Hayden wasn't only one of the coaches, but also a mentor to the players and a friend to his fellow coaches. It was deeper than just like football. Like we, we love Coach Hayden, man. And it, it's so sad that this had to happen, but uh, we love him, man. I'm praying for his family and his kids and everything. But Coach Hayden was a great man. We know his walk with the Lord, and it was, you know, we tried to tell the kids that too. Like everybody has an appointed time, and this was just Coach's time for whatever reason. It was, you know, God's decision, and, and we've, we've got to be okay with that the best that we can. He liked to talk about things that no one really wanted to talk about, like your mental health and how you're doing, like he cared. Hayden was picked by the Raiders in the first round of the draft in 2013 and played nine seasons in the NFL after surviving a heart injury while at University of Houston. Hayden, two other former U of H football players, Zach McMillan and Ralph Aragwu, and their friend who was driving, Lauren Robinson Holiday, all died in a car accident early Saturday around 2 a.m. after investigators say a man driving a black Chrysler ran a red light causing the fatal crash. That driver, who also killed a homeless man when he ran onto the sidewalk, also died in the crash. God is with us all, and he's gonna, we're going to get through this together. It's not going to be easy, but we all have each other, and most importantly, the Lord has us. Now, former U of H football player Jeffrey Lewis and another woman were also in that vehicle. The two of them survived and were rushed to the hospital. Now, Houston police investigators have identified the man who was driving the, the black Chrysler 300, who investigators say caused the crash. They say his name is Christian Herrera. Reporting live at Second Baptist School, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.